Alan Mayton, he was a person who saw what it was. He was a person that recognised Matthew Smith's talent before anybody else. And uh, kind of took it on board. And made Matthew the star that he did become. He realised there was something there. We didn't. Matthew certainly didn't. It was, it was written purely as a whim, how to uh, basically do things that the machine hadn't done before. That's all Matthew wanted to do. and we just wanted to be able to make them do what we wanted. We wanted to do something and we wanted them to do it, so we programmed it to do it. And if we didn't know how to program it, we looked in the book. Eventually we got, we got this embryonic idea of programming. Silloin kun puhuttiin vielä kotitietokoneesta, näppäimistöt olivat pehmeä kumia. Ne haisivat hyvälle. Vanhemmat panivat niitä joulukuusen alle, ihan niin kuin leluja. Lapset sen tiesivät. Zetex Spectrum oli oikea tietokone. Sillä pystyi ohjelmoimaan ja pelaamaan. Because I want to tell you just how dear you are to me, because every thought of you is loving this country. Computing in the UK uh, initially started back in the 1940s with the need to decode the German ciphers from the Enigma machine. Colossus is, without doubt, the first computer ever used in the world and used predominantly for code breaking. Moving on from then, we had all big, huge room filling machines and used predominantly by people in government, the military. Most people didn't even know the existence of computers, to be honest. Sir Clive Sinclair was known mostly to hobbyists and enthusiasts for the first LCD watch that was actually affordable to the public. Home build, cheap amplifiers. brought up the night in 1980-81, the Z80, where people could actually build their own kits, plug it into their home television, that they could sit down and start programming their own programs. These machines were bought in their absolute thousands and they were supply could not match demand at the time. So this for the first time was that people could go out to the shops and could genuinely afford to have a home colour PC with sound on their own televisions for less than £200.
vuosi 1984, kello seitsemän aamulla. Uili, miljonääriksi tullut entinen kaivostyöläinen, rää kylpyä myös. Massiiviset juhlat ovat loppuneet. Vieraat ovat jättäneet kauhan sotkua. Ylli tahtoo mennä nukkua, mutta hänen taloudenhoitajansa Maria ei päästä häntä ennen kuin kaikki on siivottu. Tämä tarina täyttää 48 kilotavua muinaisen tietokoneen muistista. It was great coming from Manic Minor because Manic Minor just had 20 rooms, 16, 20 rooms. And so you kind of think, okay, a sequel, I'll have more. I drew my own map back in the 80s and I kept on, I got so far and thought, right, I've got the whole of the whole of the house, every room. And then I discover something else and discover that I didn't have even half the house really. I think that the most disturbing graphic for me in the game is the is the large guardian in um, in rooms such as entrance to Hades. It's got a star on its forehead and its mouth which is constantly open and closing as if he's either talking to Willy or he's laughing at it and it's it's Bizarre, to say the least.